In this video, I'm gonna talk about setting up a liquid-liquid extraction. So you're gonna grab a set funnel and a cap, and then you're gonna to go to the drawer right next to it and find a ring. This can be a little tricky, finding the right size. They go over the valve and yet yeah, hold the set funnel. So you just need to try the two different drawers. And then you'll see I stashed one. Now you'll go back to your hood and you're going to set up, have your glassware labeled. You'll see in this technique we'll go through a bunch of glassware. You want to have everything prepared. You want to have your solvents in labeled glassware. Here I, you won't have the bottle in your hood. You're going to go to the reagent hood and fill your containers and come back. And so in this step I'm dissolving the sample and adding the amount and then giving it a swirl, letting everything dissolve and then I'm going to add it to the set funnel, taking care that the valve is closed so that, that notice that it's running perpendicular. That indicates the direction of the bore in there. So then I'm going to add it using a funnel so that way I don't contaminate the, the seal and weaken it. Because you're going to see we're going to turn it upside down and agitate it. And if it's weakened seal and it builds up pressure, it's going to spill and make a mess everywhere. So I add the sample, and in this sample it didn't all dissolve. I'll need to wash it a second time with some additional solvent. And take care not to add solid to it. We always dissolve in another container and just add the solution to the, to the set funnel. If you have some solid in there and it clogs that little opening there, the, the valve, it's a real mess and a pain to clean. Okay, so I'm slowly pouring again a little bit of solid left I'm just gonna leave it there um, not add more to dissolve it you need to have some space for your other uh, solvent system so now I'm adding I think 10 mils of water and then I'm gonna add 10 mils of sodium hydroxide which again and you won't have the bottles in your hood you're gonna go fill them in the reagent hood Now that everything's added, then especially with some acid-based chemistry, sometimes you can build up uh, gas because you can have neutralization produces heat, and with those organic solvents, you increase in vapor pressure. Sometimes you can have a gas-forming reaction, so you just want to be careful and give it a swirl and just see, and then you turn it over and vent immediately, and then you're going to agitate it and aggressively because that's at that interface is where the equilibrium is reached. So you need to increase the surface area. So you'll agitate and agitate. Often you're doing this blind. You can't really see the effect. If you have a colored sample, you can see it moving across, but often that's not the case. So after you've agitated enough, you're gonna put it back in the iron ring. Some people try to use an extension clamp. Um, it's not practical, it'll fall out, use the iron ring. And then you probably see the layer form at the, in, roughly in the middle there. And so now I'm gonna take the stopper out and then I'll set up a receiving flask. So again, labeled ahead of time. I like to use color coded just to make it easier. Don't get things mixed. And you'll see in the procedure, there's a lot. And then just have the opening below the neck there. So as it comes out, it doesn't splatter. Some people like to leave a gap in there and make it easier to switch, but then you're just making a mess. You gotta clean it all up. So I'm gonna drain it down and you want to just collect those two different layers, but it's always a deciding line, which way are you gonna err on? And you really wanna think about it and have that in your head there. So as I drain it down, I'm deciding, I collect one layer, and then I'm gonna close that valve. And now I can collect the other layer or add more reagent, whatever I wanna do. And so here, I'm just, Hand it back, just cut and paste different videos, and we're gonna show how then if I was gonna wash that layer with a different solution. And so again, exact same step, adding the stuff, mixing it. Okay, 
let, let it reach equilibrium. Sometimes you'll form an emulsion and you'll uh, have to do some tricks to break that. But most of the systems we have, they, uh, they separate quite easily. So again, I'm gonna drain it down, collect the different fractions, keeping track of what uh, is what. So there was the bottom fraction. Now I'm collecting the top fraction. Now one more I want to show. It's the same steps, just gonna do a brine wash. So I put the organic layer back. This is the last step in there. And we add this saturated sodium chloride to help dehydrate it. And you'll see the solid in the bottom of that bottle. You don't want to grab the solid. And we simply add it to the flask and we're drying the organic layer, the wet organic layer. So we do the exact same steps. And here I sped up a little bit. Put it in there, let it set, let it reach equilibrium, and again collect the organic layer 